Hey, it's Amanda from The Fundamental Home, and I know the dogs are barking, but I actually have my follow-up appointment today for the surgery that I had last week to have my gallbladder removed, so I have to film now, <laughs> because otherwise I'm gonna be gone, and it's, it's a long trip. I'm, I'm going to Charlotte, um, Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's rather far from my house. Uh, so it's if you've watched the news, you know, it's it's been a challenging time in Charlotte So I'd appreciate the prayers number one for the travel number two for the doctor's appointment and number three Just safety in terms of everything that's going on there while we travel But today is Friday and it's fundamentally frugal Friday and I am here kind of combining yesterday's video With today's video. I told you yesterday. I was gonna do crochet show you what I've been doing while I've been sick and today, I'm, for my tip, I wanna show you how you can crochet and do it inexpensively because I think a lot of times we have these hobbies. The most expensive thing that you can do is get a hobby. <laughs> That's the most expensive thing that you can do. It doesn't matter what your hobby is. If you are going to do anything seriously, it's going to be expensive. So I'm just gonna show you how you can do crochet rather inexpensively because you know anything that I do, I'm gonna do on a budget. So first things first, I'm gonna show you what I've been making. These. Is that not the cutest? They're called granny trees and I have it pinned on Pinterest, right? On Pinterest, I have a link in the description box. I have um, a Christmas board and I have the pattern for this saved on my Christmas board, right? I have been on my couch. <laughs> so many of these it's crazy I don't even I don't even know I've been going crazy with them uh, why did I decide to make these well I'll tell you why because I had this yarn this yarn right here it came from Holly B yarns and it says right here that it's 50 grams of Kelly Kelly green this bright green which I think this is the prettiest green I mean it's just so pretty it's so bright and I went on Pinterest, like I said, and I knew I had this green and I thought, what can I make? And I thought I could make some Christmas ornaments and because this is perfect for like a Christmas tree or a wreath. And I found some uh, crochet patterns off of Pinterest, right? The thing is, is I couldn't sit at my computer and do it from my computer because I, I really needed to lay on the couch. So I actually wrote, wrote down the pattern and then I went ahead and crocheted it. Of course, now I've done it a million times, so I pretty much just know how to do it and I could just do it, right? So, here's what I'm saying. I got all of this yarn, even though it's really nice yarn. I don't even, I, don't, I haven't even looked it up. I have no idea how much it costs. I got this yarn at the thrift store. I got like, probably 10 balls of this for a dollar. And there were other balls of yarn that I also got in that same big Ziploc bag for a dollar. And I used some of the other yarn to make the um, Afghan granny square for Amanda at Freedom Makers. So I just had a ton of yarn for a dollar. And here's the other thing. A lot of times, if, if you know people who crochet, we get stacks and stacks of yarn just like built up in our house <laughs> so a lot of times if you know someone else who crochets you can you know talk to them say oh you know I'm looking for like a pink or a yellow chances are they might have someone lying or some lying around in their stash not someone some yarn lying around in their stash so definitely ask around to uh, thrift stores asking around to your thr uh, your crocheting friends and looking on Pinterest are your best friends in terms of crocheting on a budget so that's my tip for crocheting on a budget this week. Uh, if you have any hobby, look for ways to do it inexpensively. So today is Frugal Family Food. All right, so you thought the dogs were already loud. The guy who comes and feeds them showed up and then they got super loud. So I had to come in the house and finish filming because like I said, it has to be done right now because I just have to go to my doctor's appointment. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you about Frugal Family Food today 
is that it's Wanda from Deep South Homestead. Now, remember, this is our um, September Harvest, September Harvest, hashtag September, September Harvest is so hard to say, uh, month, and everybody who's doing Frugal Family Food this month is doing things that they've actually raised, things that they've raised in their gardens. Wanda and Danny at Deep South Homestead are pros. Like, they, they have been doing this for years. They are the grandparents of all of these YouTubers and, and not literal grandparents, they're the YouTube grandparents. We all love them. And they're just wonderful people and they know everything there is to know about everything. I could homeschool with Danny and Wanda's channel and, and would feel like my children had a solid education. <laughs> like, I wanna sit and just, I wish I just had time to just sit and like take notes on every single thing that Danny and Wanda know how to do. But Wanda, in terms of cooking, she wrote the book on it, literally. She has a cookbook. And it's available on her Etsy store. So when you go to her channel, if you're interested in that, definitely go in her description box because she has a link to that. But here's the, the other news. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm coming up on 10,000 subscribers. And when I hit it, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm working on it. I'm working on my plans for that giveaway because... It's kind of snuck up on me, this 10,000 subscriber, right at the same time I'm doing surgery. It's just kind of been a busy time. But I do know this. I will be giving away at least one of Wanda's cookbooks. I am excited about that because, frankly, I haven't bought one for myself yet. But I'm going to buy one for me and I'm going to buy one for you. So I am excited, definitely, for you to see Wanda's video. So go over there and check her out. For sure, she's making, she's got a sweet potato casserole. She's got a hamburger and potato casserole. She shows you how to make um, homemade cream of soup, uh, you, especially for gluten-free. All of her stuff is gluten-free. And homemade butter beans. So, I mean, she's got a, a full meal happening over there. There's so much good stuff. I know for sure, my hair is in my face now, I am making that hamburger casserole. I'm definitely trying the hamburger casserole. It's so simple and so easy. I got to do that one. So, head over there and check out Wanda's meal check out her channel subscribe to her channel because i think they're closing in on 10,000 too so um show them that you appreciate them thank her for taking part and uh show some love over at deep south homestead so anyway that's it guys i'm going to get ready to go to my doctor's appointment so remember to pray for me and uh i will see you guys next time bye